Hi, it's Kasimi Chris, and I've been in the kitchen lately making some really fun and cute recipes, and I thought to share them with you today. In honor of the wonderful Studio Ghibli movies, I decided to create some of the delicious looking meals of their movies. I created the chocolate cake from Kiki's Delivery Service, the ramen bowl from Ponyo, the bacon and eggs from Howl's Moving Castle, and the onigiri from Spirited Away. But before we start, I would love for you to hit the like button to let me know that you like this video and subscribe if you aren't yet. Your support is more than welcome. Spirited Away must be one of the most exciting movies I have ever seen in my life. It is a movie from 2001 and I remember when it came out on DVD, I rented it and I watched it about more than 10 times in one week. Now the movie tells a story about a little girl named Chihiro. She's 10 years old and she's about to move with her parents to another neighborhood. While they move, they enter the world of Kami, spirits of Japanese folklore. After her parents are turned into pigs by the witch Yubaba, she takes on a job in Yubaba's bathhouse in order to set herself free and her parents and return to the human world. This movie was so popular that it overtook the Titanic in Japanese box office. The movie Ponyo from 2008 is written and directed by Hayao Miyazaki. The movie tells a story about a goldfish who is rescued out of the ocean by a little boy, a little five-year-old boy named Sosuke, after she washes up ashore in a glass jar. As they bond with each other, the story deals with resolving Ponyo's desire to become a human girl. It was critically acclaimed for its uplifting themes, visual designs, and simultaneous appeal towards young children and all audiences. Just done with the Ponyo recipe. This ramen recipe was super easy to make. A couple of minutes, just chopping up the onions, boiling a egg. I just boiled it uh, a little bit past what I usually do. And uh, two thick slices of ham. And it looks great. It looks just like the anime. I'm gonna try it, but I probably cannot hold it and uh, eat it on camera at the same time. So let's see how we're gonna do that. I just went to sit down on the floor while well, not really sitting, I'm crouching, but I'm excited to try it. Have a bit of the ham first. So easy. Put some onions in there, of course. Mmm! These noodles, the texture is really, um, I don't know what to watch. Like, the texture of the noodles is really nice. Mm hmm. That was a nice, ticking taste. Mm hmm. That was a success. <laughs> On, let's see the next recipe. Sojifu, <laughs> 
So the whole Watashi san. Now, Howl's Moving Castle is another Japanese animation written and directed by Hayao Miyazaki. The story is set in a kingdom where both magic and 21st century technology are prevalent against the backdrop of a war with another kingdom. The film tells a story about a young content milliner, someone who makes hats, named Sophie, who is turned into an old lady by a witch who enters her shop and curses her. She encounters a wizard named Hao and gets caught up in the resistance of him fighting for the king. Now this movie is one of my most favorite movies. Even Hayao Miyazaki said this. This was one of his favorite creations. He said, I wanted to convey the message that life is worth living and I don't think that's changed. Now this movie contains this mouth-watering scene where they make bacon and eggs on top of a iron cast skillet and therefore I got myself an iron cast skillet and I don't regret because the food tastes absolutely a lot better on an iron cast skillet. Kiki's Delivery Service is a movie from 1989 produced and written by Hayao Miyazaki. It's a very sweet and wholesome movie about a 13-year-old trainee witch named Kiki. She and her black cat named Gigi fly on a broomstick towards a new town in order to find a job so she can earn a living. According to Hayao Miyazaki, this movie portrays the gulf between independence and reliance in teenage Japanese girls. Ooh, the cake is coming! Ooh, that is so chocolatey! Yeah, I made it yesterday. Yeah, I made it yesterday. Do you like it? It's cream cheese, yeah. It's really creamy. <laughs> That's what it is. Can you see the cake? The geeky cake? Is it vegan? No. No, there's butter in there. The, even the recipe said vegetable oil. I was like, nah, -uh. I'm gonna use some butter. <laughs> Those were the Ghibli inspired recipes. I hope you like them. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite recipe was. And if you're in for some more Japan content, check out one of these two videos. Those were from my travels to Japan in 2019, which was amazing. And I hope to see you there.